Hello everybody and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel. Bogdan here, your boring host for the next couple of minutes. I hope that you're all doing great and without losing too much precious time here with lengthy intros. In this video, guys, I'll cover the imports and the exports of uh, kiwi fruits in order to see together who are the main importers, uh, exporters. I'll try to cover a little bit of uh, trade indicators like exported quantity or the average tariff applied by uh, some of the biggest importers worldwide. I'll focus later on a little bit on Belgium and the Netherlands uh, because the, these two countries are big trading gateways, at least for Europe. Uh, I will briefly cover the imports uh, of the United Kingdom. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you a couple of charts coming from uh, Food and Agriculture Organization, so FAO, in order to see who are the main um, areas in which kiwi fruit is growing with a focus, of course, on the area harvested production and yield. And uh, lastly, I will uh, try to make a head to head comparison, if you want, uh, between Turkey and Italy in order to see how these two major uh, growing areas developed in the last 10 years. But uh, guys, before I deep dive into the potentially boring data coming from these uh, beautiful sheets that I've prepared for you, I want to give you a couple of uh, fun facts about uh, the kiwi fruit. Uh, I want to thank USDA for this and it goes like this. The first fun fact about the kiwi fruit is that it is the most nutrient uh, dense fruit. Another fun fact is that uh, kiwi fruit grows on vines like uh, grapes and frankly I didn't knew that. Another uh, fun fact uh, is that California uh, produces around 98% of uh, the kiwi fruits uh, grown in uh, the United States. And the last fun fact, if I remember, China grows around 400 varieties of kiwi foods. And uh, as you will see later on, it's one of the biggest importers of uh, kiwi fruit in the world, along with Japan. But anyways, guys, let's move to the boring Excel sheets that I've told you about and uh, that I've uh, meticulously prepared for you. And I will begin with the biggest kiwi uh, fruit exporters with uh, relatively fresh data, if you want, as we have the figures coming from uh, 2021. And we see here that the worldwide the exports amounted to some $3.8 billion, uh, which is 16% more than uh, in the previous year, so 2020, with uh, New Zealand, Italy, Belgium, uh, Greece, uh, Chile, the Netherlands, uh, Spain, the United States, Portugal, and lastly, Iran as the top 10 exporters. And guys, except uh, Belgium and the Netherlands, which are almost exclusively involved in uh, trading uh, and not growing, the rest of the countries are also growers, with uh, New Zealand dominating the, world's, uh, the world exports, accounting for almost $2 billion in absolute term, which uh, in uh, relative ones translates to some 50%. As you can see here, overall, uh, there is an upward uh, trend in the 2017-2021 time frame, except here maybe with Iran, whose exports uh, picked in 2019 around $113 million and uh, plummeted to just $32 million in uh, 2021. In uh, terms of year on year changes, uh, worldwide there is a 16% increase with uh, big positive changes in relation with uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, uh, Spain, or Portugal, uh, all above the 30% mark. While the biggest decrease, again in relative terms and considering only the top 10 exporters here, was in relation with Iran, whose exports uh, shrunk with 60%, uh, which is quite a lot, if you ask me, almost $50 million in absolute terms. And uh, sadly, I don't know if uh, this is because of a bad year or in terms of uh, crops or um, something more structural happened in Iran. Uh, but anyways, with the biggest exporters being covered here, guys, I will uh, now move on to the import side. And here I've expanded my analysis to the top uh, 20 importers as I want to highlight a couple of trends and recommend if you want some potential export destinations. But uh, before that, let's see how the imports uh, behaved and uh, more or less 
This followed a similar upward trend in the last uh, five years at least, reaching some $4 billion in uh, 2021 with uh, China, Japan, uh, Belgium, Spain, uh, Germany, uh, then France, the United States, the Netherlands, Italy, and uh, lastly, South Korea being the top 10 importers, accounting for some 70% of world imports. Uh, relative to the trend, uh, all top uh, 10 importers are on an upward trend with uh, big year-on-year -year relative changes in relation with Belgium, the United States and uh, South Korea, all above the 20% mark. And guys, speaking of uh, trends here, I've highlighted in yellow a couple of potential markets um, as outside the top 10 ones that are growing and could increase their import volumes in the years to come. And these are India, the United Kingdom, Canada and uh, Poland, while Russia, highlighted here in red from uh, 2020, is on a downward one. And my guess is that the demand will shrink even more. Now, moving uh, on, I want to show you guys a couple of indicators and I will uh, begin with the quantity exported uh, in uh, 2021. And here we have some um, 1.7 million tons of uh, fresh kiwi exported worldwide, which roughly translates to some uh, 68, uh, 70,000 40 feet reefer containers with uh, New Zealand dwarfing the others uh, the other exporters both in terms of value and uh, quantity uh, you can see here the share both in terms of uh, value and weight in the last two columns that i've prepared and uh, guys before i move on i want to highlight also the trade balance and in this top 15 list uh, the countries having a positive uh, balance are few all growing areas not surprisingly and uh, these are uh, New Zealand with almost $2 billion positive trade balance, Italy, we have uh, Greece, Chile, Portugal, and the last one is Iran with some $32 million positive trade balance. And now guys, moving to the importers uh, trade indicators. Here, besides value, quantity, and uh, trade balance, we have also the average estimated tariff applied by the importing countries. And here I will highlight only the biggest and the lowest ones. And basically the biggest tariffs are found in uh, South Korea with some 31.5%. China has almost 30%, India uh, has 24%, and uh, lastly, Taiwan has 23.4% tariffs. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum, or if you want, we have zero tariff for kiwi fruit imports in the United States, Canada and Australia. While in the European Union, we have some 8% for the kiwi fruit uh, coming from New Zealand, while uh, those coming from uh, Turkey or Chile have zero tariff because of the trade agreements between the European Union and uh, these two countries. Anyway, guys, now that we've seen the trade indicators, I'll move on and cover uh, two big traders, uh, which are the Netherlands and Belgium, in order to see together where, they're, where they are exporting and in what um, volumes. But before diving into the data here, I've uh, done some uh, digging behind the scenes and uh, from what I saw the Netherlands outside the EU producers like Italy, uh, Greece or Spain is very active in Chile and almost uh, inexistent in uh, relation with New Zealand while Belgium on the other hand is uh, very active in New Zealand and close to zero in Chile. Anyways, uh, now getting back to the Netherlands here, well, the exports in uh, 2021 amounted to some $154 million, with uh, Germany, France, Belgium, Poland, and uh, Spain as the top five destinations. And uh, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, I will highlight only the exports uh, towards Germany here, who went up almost uh, with uh, $36.5 million while uh, those towards the Russian Federation were down 6.3%, uh, bringing the absolute value to some $1.5 uh, million. 
now guys moving on to belgium well here the export uh, figures as you can see are uh, much higher than those of uh, the netherlands and we have uh, germany france uh, the netherlands spain and italy as the top five export destinations and uh, overall in this top uh, 13 uh, trading partners only the exports uh, towards the netherlands shrunk with some uh, 2.5 billion dollars which is not much uh, given the fact that uh, year on year in uh, absolute terms uh, belgium's exports were up uh, almost as much as uh, netherlands uh, total exports which uh, really gives you an idea about the trading operations happening in belgium anyways guys i don't want to make this video too long and uh, before i move forward i just want to highlight the last column here where i've added the netherlands exports in order to see where they overlap and who between uh, belgium and the netherlands is more active in a specific market and uh, from what you can see here belgium is clearly on top of uh, the netherlands in countries like uh, germany france or spain while the Netherlands, on the other hand, uh, outperforms Belgium only in uh, three countries, and these are Poland, France, uh, Switzerland, sorry, and Austria. Uh, and again, this is relative to the top uh, partners of uh, Belgium, but the main ones like, I don't know, Germany, France or Spain are the ones that uh, make up for the bulk of the volumes and values and uh, here it seems that belgium is clearly outperforming uh, the netherlands anyways uh, guys let's leave room for uh, the belgium traders uh, in order to develop further as i will now uh, cover very briefly uk's imports from the last uh, five years and here i don't want to cover much as i said uh, previously other than highlighting what happened to to the kiwi fruit imports from uh, germany and New Zealand after United Kingdom decided to sail solo and exit the European Union. And uh, basically Germany's exports uh, plummeted in uh, 2021. And here my personal um, guess is that it has to do with some um, triangulation practices coming from uh, both Aldi and uh, Lidl to German retail chains active in the, um, United, active in the United Kingdom. While on the other hand, the exports from New Zealand skyrocketed in the same year. And here, as I've, sold, uh, I've told you earlier, is just a supposition, of course. I could be wrong, but uh, from my point of view, it's worth considering this theory. So that's about UK's imports, guys. And now I will uh, briefly cover the FAO data in terms of uh, the largest uh, producers and uh, basically uh, China, Italy and uh, New Zealand dominate the top uh, in terms of uh, harvested area and uh, production, while in terms of yield, uh, New Zealand along with uh, Iran and Greece are the ones with the best results. Uh, on average, we have here uh, some 20.5 tons um, of yield per hectare and uh, this helped me to quickly see who performed and who didn't uh, earlier i told you who are the top performers and now you know, i will quickly uh, cover the list of performers in, ter in terms of uh, yield and the winners if you want are uh, china france uh, portugal japan uh, spain and south korea who are all below the 20 tons average yield uh, mark now guys moving to the last couple of sheets i promise you have some uh, patience and bear with me because i want to cover the areas uh, harvested production and yields for both turkey and italy i will begin with turkey and uh, basically in the last 10 years the harvested area almost doubled uh, yields uh, also improved with some 46 uh, percent and in uh, 2020 we have some 3200 hectares of um, harvested area in turkey with an yield of uh, roughly 23 tons per hectare and uh, total production of about 74,000 tons 
I've uh, highlighted in the chart here with a red uh, rectangle the results for um, 2014 and here the poor performances I think that are related to some big um, drought uh, or some kind of pest I don't know for sure it uh, just triggered my attention and uh, if anybody familiar with this matter is watching this video please do shed some light on this matter on the other hand uh, Italy's last uh, decade uh, looks like this, relatively small in uh, uh, flat, sorry, in terms of uh, area harvested production and yield, meaning that uh, kiwi growing in Italy is a uh, mature and stable industry, if you want, as it is in uh, New Zealand, for example, uh, going on for a long time. And uh, now it seems that uh, they've uh, reached uh, some sort of uh, plateau. And if you want to see in dynamic how Italy's and New Zealand's uh, kiwi industry developed over the years, I've prepared the last chart, I promise you, again coming from FAO with the harvested area. And uh, basically, Italy started to grow its uh, industry, if you want, in the mid-1980s, when at that time, uh, New Zealand's harvested area was uh, fivefold larger. But soon Italy started to pick up and uh, by the middle of 1990s already surpassed uh, New Zealand in terms of harvested area. And uh, guys, with uh, this uh, short piece of information relative to the kiwi fruit history, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope that you've liked it. Don't forget to hit those uh, tiny buttons below this video. And as usual, until next time, keep your business safe. Thanks.